Hey guys, <laughs> Karen Wolf at the Art Studio here uh, again today. I'm not sure what's going on. It's kind of like jittery, so we'll see. Oh, technology, it's great when it works, but not so great when it doesn't work. So, um, anyways, um, Karen Wolf at the Art Studio, studio uh, here today. Hey, Kathy. Um, good morning. Um, We'll be painting the beach today. Um, I'm hoping I can get it like this, like side to side instead of up and down, but we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure. Um, before I had one on top of the other, and um, so, um, yeah, let the fun begin. Um, I hope some will be able to join on today. I know it's, um, it's Saturday morning and a lot of people are probably wanting to get outside and enjoy the day, but, um, it was a little rainy this morning, so maybe until the rain stops, uh, folks will want to paint. So, um, we'll be painting the um, uh, A Peaceful Place on the Beach today. I have posted the um, colors on the post, but in case you missed that, I um, hope you didn't, so you were prepared. Um, but I have all the colors here on the um Actually, I was using this for another one, and it worked. Um, I have all the colors on here, except I have purple, in, and I didn't list that. But you can you can add purple at any time that you want. Purple's a really good color in a um, painting. So you have white, yellow, orange, burnt sienna, which is um, just a golden brown, like golden brown color. Or you can use umber, which is a dark color. And um, good morning, Savannah. And then uh, green, like I said, I didn't have purple listed, but you can use that if you want, and an ultramarine blue. So there are the colors that we will be using this morning. Um, and then the brushes that you'll need are um, a one inch flat, half inch flat, and just a small round, and I'm using a number four. I'm not sure what that is. Actually, a script liner would probably work um, if you have one of those. Um, should have probably listed that. Um, a script liner um, will work for these or a half inch um, or possibly the round if you don't push real hard. Uh, the harder you push, the fatter the um, stock will be on the, or the whatever you call it on those things, on those wispy things. Um, so this was just a quick painting that I, I just kind of threw together one evening. It didn't take me very long to paint it, so I'm hoping it'll be easy for you all. Um, beaches aren't really that hard at all until you get to, I don't know, the weirdest thing, the seagrass. That's, that always seems to be the most difficult for everyone. Um, just getting those too thick, too fat, um, too much of them, too many of them, I mean, not too much of them. Um, so anyhow, um, so we'll go along, um, painting on a, uh, 12 by 16 canvas is what I'm using. You can use any size canvas that you want or that you have. Um, and these are just, uh, um, just a stretch canvas on canvas board and, um, or on canvas board, stretched on, uh, oh gosh, I can't even think. Anyways, stretch canvas. Um, or you could use a canvas board, you could use um, watercolor paper, you could paint on a slate, wood, whatever you've got around the house. So, um, I do have this, the canvas here for sale though at the art studio. If you would like to purchase, if you can't find it somewhere else, it can be purchased at Michael's, Hobby Lobby. Um, Michael's is really good. They have, um, order it and online and you can go do curbside, pick it up, just dial the number when you get there, park in the space, they come out, uh, you, um, they load it up in your vehicle and you're good to go. Um, Walmart used to carry them, I don't know if they have them now. Uh, Dick Blick, Jerry's Arnorama, and places like that, you can order them online, Cheap Joe's. So, um, maybe Amazon, I'm not sure about canvas on Amazon. I know they have, uh, I think they have some of the paints and the brushes, but I know they have brushes, but I'm not sure about the other. Um, so there, uh, that'll give you an idea. Unless you want to buy them for me, I have them here. You just get in touch with me. I have uh, eight by tens until the, I run out. I couldn't get those this time. Uh, 11 by 14s and 12 by 16s. Um, you tell me, um, I have a post on my site, uh, on my site, I keep saying that, on my Facebook page. 
the prices and everything. You let me know what you want. We set up a time. You come. Uh, I tell you know. You let me know when you're here. Um, I tell you when to come in. When you can come in and make sure there's not two people in here at the same time, uh, other than myself. And you pick it up. It's already on the table. You pick it up. Leave your money and you go. Unless you've already paid for it. So there you go. All right. So we'll begin. Um, we're going to start this painting. Uh, let's see. I think sometimes when it gets blurry is um, when it's too close. So if it starts like trying to focus, I think that's why uh, the Daisy painting uh, really did that a lot. So I'm not sure why. Uh, so if something happens along the way, let me know. And maybe I'll just move that. I've moved it back a little bit, but if I move it back too far, you all can't see. So we're going to start. I'm just going to start out with the uh, the one inch flat, and I'm just going to get it in the water. Just get it in my cup of water and uh, dry it with a paper towel. Make sure you have paper towels, a cup of water, Mister Bottle with some water in it, and. Um, your brushes and your paint and canvas, of course. So, hey, Gina. Good morning. Welcome. So, we're going to start out with the large, the larger brush, just if you have the one inch flat. And we're going to go into the um, blue, just going to go into the blue and the white. Get the blue and the white. Okay. Gosh, I was about to paint on that. Can you all see that? Okay, so we'll see. All right, so we're just going to start in with the blue and the white for the sky. And that might get on my nerves if it's like that because I'll be trying to run into it the whole way. So let me move that over just a smidge. Can you still see it? Okay, so we're just going to go. Um, I'm not going to be able to do that. That's going to drive me crazy the whole, 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 whole time. Here we go, we're moving this up. Sorry people, I can't do that. Get used to one thing and then. You want to be sitting there. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't we all like to be sitting there on that beach this morning? That'd be wonderful. Just, you know, have a cup of coffee, you know, read a book, uh, paint. You have your easel set up, you know, paint on the beach, a peaceful place at the beach. So we're just doing a um, half your brush in blue. Just dip the corner, corner in the blue, corner in the white, and just, you know, you got some paint on your brush. And then you're just back and forth. Do your outside edge. And then do your middle, just back and forth. Ooh, go on here. Put right off that down. And just don't try to hold your brush back halfway or three quarters of the way back so you're loose. Um, don't um, try to um, make this all smooth and try to paint every single thing out, and you know, so it's all the same color. You want the darks and the lights in there. You don't want it to be um, all the same color, okay? So then I'm just gonna go back down. When my brush gets empty, I'm just going back down and reloading. And I'm just holding back on my brush three quarters of the way, halfway, three quarters of the way, just so I have a loose, loose, uh, loose stroke, loose, Loose and free is what you want. You don't want to be real tight. You don't want to get up here real tight and, you know, get on your brush right down to the ferrule. You want loose, loose, loose. Hold it loose, back and forth. Just loosely back and forth, but don't blend out all your darks and your lights. Once your brush runs out, once you're empty on the brush, go back down. Hey, Sheila, welcome. Once your brush empties out, you go back down and you reload. Go back down, reload, and we're going to go down, uh, not quite halfway, I, I may have gone down too far, um, not quite halfway, 
because I don't want this to end right at the halfway mark. Yeah, not quite halfway. And what I just did is I just measured with my brush. I use my brush as a measuring tool a lot. Um, so here I've got a full length of my brush. And then up here, uh, I have, you know, it's going down to here on my brush. So that's a pretty, pretty good place to stop right there. Um, and I, I use my brush for a, a measuring tool a lot of the time. You'll see me using my brush. Uh, to measure. You can use it to make sure that things are level over here and you're coming down you're right here, coming down right here. You can use it to measure um, different like I'm getting paint all over myself. So here this stops here and then this stops here. So it's pretty much this is right on right there and right there. Okay, so we just get this paint on, and then this is a, a student grain paint. It's very transparent, so we'll probably have to go over that again. But that just gets, this is the uh, underpainting, and we're just getting some color on. If you were using a more professional grade paint, um, your paint would have more pigment in it, and you, you possibly wouldn't have to go over it again, uh, but it covers um, better, and uh, I will have to do the video. <laughs> Hi, Karen. You will have to do the video. <laughs> You're confusing me. Okay. Um, oh, you mean you'll have to do it later when it's saved? I'm not sure. So, um, anyways, I've got paint all over me here. So, um, can you all see that still? Can you all see that still pretty good? Is it jittery up or going out of focus or anything? I hope not. I'm just going to try. I'm not ready to fall off the edge of the table. Okay. All right. So we've got the sky in. We're going to let that dry, and then we're going to go back, or we'll go back and paint over it later. Um, since this is a student grade paint, it's pretty transparent, so it takes more to cover it. Okay. So the the water has a little bit of green in it. To get this watercolor, you basically take that same blue and white. Uh, mixture, the blue and the white mixture, but you're going to add a little bit of green to it. You're going to add some green. So, we're going to come down, get the blue, probably not as much white to start out with in the back because it's a darker, it's darker back there. So, we're going to do blue and green. You just want it to be a little bit darker in the back. Okay, so, and two, you want to have this right here to be level. So, make sure that this right here, this line right here, is very important that it's a level. Uh, the line does not um, go up or down or, you know, bumpy or whatever. Um, you want it to, to definitely not go like this or this. This is, this, you know, this is level. This is horizon. This is where the water is uh, meeting the sky. So just make sure that's level. So then once my brush empties up, I'm, I'm going down and I'm adding more blue and green. If it gets too green, if you're looking at it and you're thinking, oh, I don't like that, it's too too green. We'll just add more blue to it. Um, work in some more um, blue in the color. But you want to make sure um, it's a little darker at the horizon. And if it's not, we'll add more color here in a little bit. You want to make sure it's more dark at the horizon. And I'm just taking my finger to get that bump off of there. there you'll get a ridge. When you paint like that, you, when you do this, you get like a big a ridge of paint. I'm just taking that and getting that off of there with my finger. So just come down, and same with the sky. Don't uh, try to make it just you know a solid color of blue green going down through there. 
You want the darks and the lights and the variations in the colors. Okay? Thank you, Gina. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, because sometimes uh, I get in the way or it gets blurry or whatever. If you get brush marks like this, little, oh, that's a big old gouger. You know, the brush marks like that, just lightly. Just go over it with your brush, just lightly. Sweep across. So then you go the blue, the green, a little bit of white, and you're gonna go down probably about to, to here, up a little ways. Just in here somewhere. It really doesn't have to be precise. Yeah, a little bit too much green. So, ooh, that's a little bit too much blue. But you just adjust so that um, the color is to your preference, to your liking. Color doesn't matter necessarily. Uh, it's the value that matters. And as you come down, the water will get lighter down here and it's darker back here. So that's something to keep in mind as you go along. So just don't smooth it all out. I will go back over this again if need be. Just don't smooth it all out so it's solid and um, darker darker back on the uh, horizon, and then lighter as you go down to, to where it gets towards the, the sand. Okay. And then we're gonna add some more of those little uh, doodads there too. Smooth out those brush marks. Okay, all right, now we're gonna go down. I'm not even gonna rinse my brush or anything. I'm just gonna take the brush with the dirty brush with all that stuff in it, whatever I've got. I'm going to go down into um, the sand color here, and I'm going to um, go into the sienna. Did I need dark brown? So I'm going to go into the uh, sienna color, and I'm just going to sweep that across, just back and forth. Painting in these colors. And where it meets the water, I'm just blending the two colors together a little bit. Go down into the sienna. And for the outside edge, let me just go ahead and take this in. For the outside edge, I want that to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to take the uh, darker color. If you have the dark brown, you can do that. Or I'm going to add a little bit of blue to my sienna. This one over here took a little bit of blue, add it to my sienna. And I just want to make this outside edge just a little bit darker. And too, wet, wet sand's a little bit darker than the dry sand, so you could put a little bit of that dark up there. Okay, very transparent color, takes more than one coat to cover. If you're thinking, oh, I can still see my canvas, well, I can too, and we'll go back over that again. So just make sure that you've got your, your sky, uh, a little bit, you know, darks and lights there. Kind of keep your dark, you know, a little bit dark around the outside edge. Uh, it'll get lighter as it goes towards the horizon. That's just a little bit exaggerated on the light there. Um, and then you get down to the water and it's a little darker in the back and as it goes down, we'll make it a little lighter. And then here is your sand. So you've got sky, your water, and your sand. So I'm just rinsing that brush. And I'm gonna dry it with the paper towel. And like I said, color doesn't matter. If you want your uh, water to be 
Where's my trash can? Oh, here it is. If you want your water to be um, more blue than green, this, this is a little bit more green, and this one I think has more blues in it. Um, if you want it to, to be a different um, color, that's fine. Just keep the values. Just where I say keep it dark, keep it dark. Where I say keep it light, keep it light. All right. So this is, um, my sky is still a little bit wet, so I'm going to dry mine a bit with the hair dryer. I'm going to dry it a little bit with the hair dryer just to um, get ready for the next step. And dry it with hot or warm and not cold. One thing I um, forget to tell you all sometimes, and I've forgotten today too, um, I need to put me a big old flashing light over there that says, don't forget to tell them um, to paint the edge of your painting. Um, the canvas has uh, an edge to it here, just the side of these. Now, if you're using a, a canvas board or slate, of course, you don't have to worry about this, uh, or a piece of wood, you can. Um, but you want to pull that whatever color you have on the front around to the side and paint that edge. Now, if you frame this painting, you won't be able to see that. But um, if, and then whatever color you have over here, you just like pull the beach color over, the water color over here, the sand color over here. Oh, sorry. Um, the, the water will be over here. And then the sand color will be here and on the bottom. So um, if you frame that painting, you won't be able to see that edge. But I, my advice is, is just to always uh, paint the edge because you never know. And why I just clean my brush? I don't mind because that's the color I'm getting ready to use. Um, but um, I suggest to paint the edge of the paint, the edge of the painting, because you never know when you'll take that frame off, and you may, you know, someone give it to someone or whatever. And if that edge is painted, it just makes for a nice finished uh, painting, um, and you can just take it and hang it on the wall the way it is, and you don't even need to frame it. So we're going to go back into the sky again. We're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to go into the blue uh, and the white corner of the blue, corner of the white, with that one inch brush and start painting across. Now I got a little bit more white on there, so I'm gonna go back in and just get some blue. Cause truly you want the edge to be a little darker uh, since you don't have a particular eye stopper up there the paint the dark paint will stop your eye from going off the canvas so it's good to have dark edges if you don't have eye stoppers like trees or fence or whatever uh, the dark color will keep you in on the canvas the viewer not you the viewer whoever's looking at your canvas okay um because like right here you have two eye stoppers and you really don't need the dark on the, the edge there so I'm just going back into the blue and the white as I go down, just painting across. And then just reloading my brush, making sure that you do not blend everything in. Cause these are clouds. These are, these are like wispy clouds up there, just wispy. And you don't want, uh, lines across just straight just you know pattern straight across so take your brush every now and then and just exit a little bit across like that take x's and then go across like that 
and that'll get rid of those. Um, lines hopefully because you don't want that you don't want um, patterns like that uh, on the canvas hey Leslie welcome welcome hope you all were able to paint the uh, daisies last week that was a good one that one was fun and easy I hope you thought so as you get down to the water, you're gonna go a little bit lighter. So add less blue when you reload your brush. And you want the horizon there, the sky to be lighter as it goes down. And the um, water right there at the back will be a little bit darker okay so you've got your your sky going Ooh, look what I got there. don't forget to paint the edge as you're going along don't forget to paint the edge of your canvas that color when your when your brush splits like this here that's a pretty good indication well it is an indication it's a pure fact that you're empty, your brush is empty. So if you're thinking, oh my gosh, my brush is playing, I can't get stop, you know, doing that. Well, add more paint. That's that's the problem. So that's what's doing that. So without even rinsing my brush, I'm going to go into the green or the blue rather, that blue uh, mixture, blue white, and I'm going to add a little bit of green this time. So that's the water, and we're going to go blue white. Really, you just go blue and green probably there in the back to get that a little bit darker. Blue and green with that white that you had in your brush will give you that a little bit darker uh, there in the back. Just make sure you keep that line there in the back okay and then as you go down you just take the blue and the green color my paint is all like mixing together with a little bit of white blue green and add a little bit of white and paint down And when you get those variations in color, that's good. Leave them alone. Leave them there. Don't don't try to fix that. That's not a problem. So it doesn't need to be fixed. Okay. So you're going to have some darks, or you know, darks and lights, some greens, some blues, whatever colors there. Okay. If you don't like all that green, like I said, you can add more blue. The thing, the the main thing, just please make sure you keep that line right there straight and level measure down on each side, make sure it, it meets the same place on each side. And that it doesn't go wonky in the middle. Okay, so you've got that. And then your water to add these uh, whites and things there. You go into a little bit more of the white on your brush. And then you'll taking the corner of your brush and not the whole brush, just kind of drag it across a little bit back and forth. Just t I'm touching, you all see that? I'm just touching with my brush, the corner of my brush, and I'm just kind of drag across. And then I turn my brush to when I, I lose paint, then I come back across and I'm just dragging, just dragging, 
just to get those on there, those little indications of the, the water coming in, okay? And if that doesn't work, sometimes you can like go upside down with the brush. Let me get on this side. Sometimes you can go like upside down on the brush and it works better and you can just drag them that way if you can't do it uh, with the, the brush the other way. And you're just kind of taking the corner and I'm just dragging in, just making those uh, indications of the water waves. You know how they roll in. Of course, I haven't been to the beach long enough, or uh, I haven't been to the beach for a long time, let's just say that. <laughs> I don't even know if I can remember what the the beach looks like at this point. So, uh, I'm not sure that I'll ever even go to the beach ever again. Um, I have such problems with um, my skin, my face, and the sun. So, uh, who knows if that'll ever happen. I guess that's what sunscreen's for, right? I don't know. I used to go and spend hours uh, laying on the beach and just soften these edges. Soften, soften, soften right here. Just soften. So, this is where the water's coming in. Okay. And then you're going to go with that. Um, and I, I'm going to have to go back darker up here. I see that I've wiped that off with my brush. But um, with that same brush, we're going to do the, the sand. I'm going to go into the sienna. Um, but I used to spend lots of time out in the sun, and I, I wish I wouldn't have because it's really wreaked havoc on my skin. I've had to do so many, so many of the... Um, treatment uh, with that cream. Uh, I call it devil cream. Uh, my suggestion is to stay uh, stay out of the sun as much as possible if you can and if you do get in the sun uh, protect your skin with sunscreen or a hat and all that fun stuff. I messed that up there a little bit. Let me fix that. Um, yeah. Well, my advice for today for sunscreen. I loved it. It was like, you know, I had this, I don't know, the sun makes you feel good. It makes you feel, uh, I don't know, it just makes you feel good. It does. And tan skin, everybody likes their skin to be tanned. Hey, Amy. Uh, everybody says, you know, tan skin looks, uh, brown fat looks better than white fat. <laughs> and that's something people say. So take the brown uh, color, the dark color that you have, or the brown, the sienna and the blue, and get your um, outside edge just a little darker, just like we did before. My paint is like not wanting to stick today. I don't know if it's because it's all the rain we get or what it is. Blue and brown just makes, blue and sienna will make a dark brown color. So if you have, um, the brown, you can use the brown. And if it's not dark enough, you can add a little bit of the blue to it also. So your outside edge is just a little darker, not real dark. Uh, acrylic paint dries two to three shades darker, so um, it, if, it, if you think, oh, it's not dark enough, it is, because it'll dry darker here in a minute. So I just want the outside edge to be a little bit darker and down here in the front. And then take, once you get your dark edge in, um, go back into the sienna. You don't even have to rinse your brush. Go back into the sienna and go up and do the middle to get it in, and then to get rid of those brush marks just slightly straight across. So you can see there's just a little bit darker edge and then it's lighter in the middle, okay? And then where you're meeting the water here, um, it's just a soft, soft um, blended together line. It's not a hard, like up here, see how this is like a, a hard line uh, from one thing to the other, and then this is a soft, uh, almost disappearing, uh, edge there in places, so um, that's real soft, blended. Then I want you to take that same brush 
Uh, Amy, I haven't seen you forever. I hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing well. Um, I hope you're still painting. Hope you and your mom are still painting. I miss you guys. I want you to go into the white with that dirty brush and in the center, I want you to lighten this up. Just here, lighten this up. And I'm just taking that corner of my brush. I went into some white with that dirty brush. I'm just taking that corner of my brush and just sweeping across some light color here in the center. Okay, and rinse that brush, and we'll have to go back over that again because that's a little, little bit. Uh, transparent and it's it's gonna take another coat all right so your sky looks good you shouldn't have to do your sky again uh, the water will add a little bit more lights to the water um, if need be you can add a little bit more of the the foam coming in I need to add a little bit more dark to the back here of my my water um, I have uh, wiped it all the way, so I'm gonna, just if this isn't dark enough back here, you can add just a little bit more color in right there. But the rest of my water looks good, and I hope yours does too, except I probably need to blend that a little bit. There. Light touch, folks. Light touch. And a lot of a lot of times, the thing uh, people run into, they have the, the problem with, is um, just a heavy hand. It's it's hard to learn that. That's one thing in uh, painting. I know I've had a real hard time with is learning um, just how to not have such a heavy hand with the brush. Because uh, if you push too hard, um, uh, it will um, just have a tendency to take more of your paint off than uh, paint on, so um, just remember that. You're painting when you can. Well, good. I'm glad because you both are, you both have skills. <laughs> you need to do it. You need to keep doing it. It's relaxing and fun, too. I know your mom enjoys it, so tell her I said hello. Uh, hey, Tammy. Welcome. So, um, then you can add, if you need some more lights, you can go in and add some more lights in your water. If you want, you'd like your water the way it is, if, you know, you think it's okay, you can leave it alone. If you need to add some more whites to your water, um, you can do that just with that blue, uh, little bit of green and the white, taking that brush and just holding back and then touching lightly. Not to go back too far though. I'm just blending that with my finger. Your finger is um is a terrific blending tool. So, um, but you don't want to get these like the the thicker ones way back in here because they really don't start rolling until they they come in closer. So I'm just wisping my brush and and less is more with this too. So don't get a whole bunch. I mean, if you see, I just have a little bit there. But as they come in then they'll they'll come into the the sand so down here we're going to kind of um make give it the indication that it's it's kind of rolling uh up into the the sand so i'm just taking that same uh side of my brush and just kind of coming up here so that's where the water is coming coming forward okay so and that'll have to dry a little bit it's not sticking so we're gonna have to go back over it again so this is your water coming in you got your sky your water's darker back there you've got your lights and your darks coming and then here you've got your little waves start rolling in ro rolling in and then it's going to come into this the sandy area so we're going to work on that a little bit more but mine needs to be dried with the hair dryer some so i'm going to rinse that brush out and lay it down and then i'm going to dry it with the hair dryer
see, once I dry that, I mean, you see already how it dries darker. Just acrylic is like, just that's just the way acrylic, acrylic paint is. It dries three to shades darker. So, um, the problem with acrylic is not getting it dark enough. It's getting it light enough. So, you, to get it as light as you want. Well, hey, Denise. Um, good morning. Uh, good grief. You're not outside doing something adventurous? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm glad you joined in with me, though. Um, so in order to get the, um, the painting lighter, you just have to keep adding, you know, go lighter, go lighter, go lighter, and it just takes layers and layers of paint. So, um, and with this student grade paint, it does take more. So, um, we're good up to here, unless we want to add some more light. So we're going to work on the sand area and just get more coverage here. So we've got our base foundation with the dark there. So we're just going to now work on... Uh, just working incorporating in some of the lights. My sienna is like into my green So I'm gonna um, go get a, just a, a little squirt more of sienna. I'll be right back It's uh Where I hold my plate up to show you all it runs down and I've, I've about used it all and what I have left is in the green so I don't want that so I'm just gonna take that sienna color, same brush, I'm still using that same brush, I haven't changed, and I'm going to um, incorporate in, and you really didn't even have to, to wash and rinse your brush, um, incorporate in a little bit more of the light. So I'm gonna go sienna, and I'm adding a little bit of light, and you can add some orange even uh, to lighten it up at this point. So I just did sienna, a little bit of orange, and some white, and just kind of have a little bit of a gold color there. So I'm just going to come in with some lighter sand color. Um, where the water comes in, uh, the sand will be a little bit darker there in places. So if you have some darks, you want to leave some of those darks in there. So I'm just kind of swishing back and forth, um, not completely up to that edge, because I want that edge to be a little bit dark. These will be eye stoppers, so that'll help stop your eye, but I don't want you to go completely over to the edge of that. So I'm just taking the edge of my brush, and I'm just going to reload some white sienna and some, just a, a tiny, tiniest bit of orange. There's not like a whole lot of orange there. And I'm just squishing back and forth here. And you can smush with your finger if you want. Getting some of those lights in there and not not killing all my dark. You don't want to kill all your dark. Okay. So you've got lights and darks through here now. Okay. And the place that you just want it to just remain dark is just that edge. Just it's a nice stopper. So I'm rinsing my brush. I really didn't have to, but I did. Dried it with the paper towel. Um, so now I'm going to go into even more of the white with that beige color that I made. So if you didn't wash your brush, you can just add a little bit more white and um, touch in some more of the light. And I'm just going back and forth here. And this kind of where I've kind of gone up a little bit with it makes it look like there's like, you know how like when you go to the beach and there's like this little hill here of the sand where it's piled up and these little thin things are usually on it and then it goes back out into the flat. So if you want that to look like it's going uphill a little bit, just kind of turn your brush up a little ways like that and that'll give it the indication of that hill type situation. And then it kind of goes flat in the middle. So come back down flat in the middle. Here. And the sand uh, becomes lighter too uh, when, when it's back here uh, and not right on the beach. The darker part of the sand is, is out front where um, the waves and stuff are coming in. So. Um, just to add some some light there, lightening that up. Okay, so you have 
your water coming in and then you have some just some darks up here just a little bit and then as this comes back we're just going to keep lightening that up a little bit okay so with that dirty brush where you have it in the the sand and you can add a little bit of orange uh, to I don't know why I said I needed yellow I don't think that was on the list but I'm looking at that and I'm thinking what in the world did I use yellow for oh I know never mind I lied sometimes I do that so just add a little bit more white and then keep lightening this up just here and there And then, too, you can take a little bit of that blue color. Um, I'll turn that into. Um, we'll take a little bit of that blue color, and like I did right here, and kind of swish that in when we get, when we get this done. So I'm just taking the sienna and just adding more white and the orange and just lightening this up not to appear white, uh, but lighter as you go, and just dragging that. Less is more, less is more. So you don't want to um, go crazy on me, but it just takes, you know, a little bit of time to get uh, some of that worked in. Okay, so that's, I think that's a light enough for me so now I'm going to take a little bit of that blue color uh, that I had on my plate, this little bit of this blue uh, back here that we were using for the, the beach color, and I've got it on the edge of my brush, and I'm just going to touch it in just here and there, just in this general vicinity, just here, just to incorporate some of that down. Okay, just a little. I mean, not a whole lot. It just kind of brings that forward. Just no big deal. All right, so I'm washing my brush, and I'm going to dry it with a paper towel. And that'll dry, and then it'll be darker, and then we'll probably have to do something again to it. All right, so this is your, we got that so far. Got that in, that in. Now we're going to do these, um, the little uh, fence doodads. I want to dry it first so that I don't smear in my paint. And step back and look at your painting uh, from a distance every now and then, and you'll be able to see um, where um, your right where you're wrong, where you're too dark, too light, shapes off, you're crooked, you're, you know, whatever, um, back, back up and look at it because um, that will definitely, um, you'll see things that you can't see when you're, you're right up in your painting. You need to step back every now and then, five or six feet back, um, you know, the length of your body, just step back and look at it. Uh, you can also see, if you take pictures, uh, or even looking through your phone lens, you'll be able to see um, where your where your problem areas are. So I want you to take some of that blue, no clean brush, uh, half inch flat, no contamination of any colors for this mixture, because I want it to be a little bit dark. So then I want you to go into the sienna and the blue. Sienna and the blue, and just make a dark color. And it's probably half and half blue and sienna, but I want it to be um, a dark, um, a dark color that doesn't necessarily look brown. So it's probably more to the blue side than the brown side, but it's just a dark color, so it doesn't really matter. So we're going to do these little doodads right here. Okay, so we're going to start, this one's up a little bit above the water, so we'll start here. That'll be the, the top of the first one, okay? And then they just kind of come in and go down. They're not level, they're not straight. I just went in there really quickly and did these, so um, don't try to make them perfect or um, you'll be mad. Because they're not perfect. Uh, they've been there, they probably had some, you know, some high water, 
Um, so we're just going to go in and make uh, just some just some random um, of these, and I'm just doing this just to give you an idea, you know, where you start. Just so, and then you're going to end um, probably in this area right here. You're not going to go all the way down to the bottom. So we're going to start here, and then we're just going to make with that half inch flat, just make a line down. And we're just gonna stop right in this general area. Okay? And don't try, like I said, don't try to be perfect with them. Don't try to, to make them exact or anything. Some of them are taller than the others. Uh, and I'm just using, I'm using this half inch flat and I'm just making as much as a chisel edge as I can make on this old thing. This thing's wore out. And then uh, just making some fins that go down this here. And then they, they, they're just like wear out sometimes and they, they're bent and everything else. And if you get one like I did right there, just kind of messed up a little bit, you can fix them. Just go in and rinse your brush, dry it with a paper towel, and you can keep wiping it and drying it with your paper towel. If it's dry and the paint underneath is cured, you have a moment of time that you can do that with the acrylics. Okay. It just looked a little frazzled, so I'm just fixing it. All right. And I use my finger, my little pinky, to brace myself here when I'm working. So we'll have, that'll have to dry. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. We're gonna take the blue and the sienna, mix them together, making that dark color from this half inch flat. And then we're going to start over here. Well, this one starts below the water down here. So we're going to do one out that far. And then just bring your other ones down from it. And then they don't come all the way down to the bottom. They just come like down to here and then come out a little bit and down. And then they kind of look like they're falling over. You know how they do. They And yours don't have to be exactly like mine. Don't certainly don't have to be exact. Don't worry about that. So we'll let those dry a little bit. Okay? So then I had these um little wispy things here. And those were um, just a little bit of that dark brown color uh, that you just made. Add some more sienna to it. Just take this color that you made and just go into the sienna since it's not as dark. And I just took some of those and just uh, took my brush. If they're not showing up, you can go into a little bit lighter color. And I just put some of these little things here and there just to look like just some stuff growing and uh, just some little vegetation. You can make them green if you want, but I just didn't want mine to just be real standout-ish and show up, so I just did them like, like that just so they would be similar color to the grass there. So, um, well, hey, Beth, how are you, girl? All kinds of new people on here today. Hope you're doing well. I know you've had a crazy, bunch of crazy stuff going on with all those loans. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. All right. So we've got that. We're going to probably have to dry that a little bit with the hair dryer to um, move on to the next step a little bit, maybe. Just dry it a little bit. Not real. I mean, 
ordinarily when you go through these paintings, if you move around and you do things, you know, you, you don't have to, to dry it so much with a hair dryer, but um, I, I go through these kind of quickly, I guess, and to move it along, I dry it with a hair dryer. So uh, blue and sienna again, half inch flat. Just making that dark color again, just to get some um, some more coverage here. So we're just going to go over these again, just with that. Just cover these little um, little guys. So I'm just getting some more coverage. Is all I'm doing with that. I'm just going back over them again. And um, I'm not taking any care to just make them all perfect or anything. So, you know, don't worry about that. You definitely don't need to do that. Okay, so then I'm going to take the white, that dirty brush. I'm just going to go into just a little, little tip of the corner uh, with some white. And I'm going to do um, some highlight on here. I'm going to try to keep my highlight on the... Um, this side coming in, you guys are backwards from me, so this is my left, but it's your right. So coming in from this side, so that's what I've been doing is just saying from this side, because <laughs> it's weird when I do these, a little bit too much white, so I'm going to get some of that off of my brush. Um, when I've been doing these, I, I've been trying to remember that. and uh, It's confusing. And it's because my... Uh, phone is on, uh, you know, flipped around. So you're just going to keep that light on the side where the sun's coming in. Like I said, yours will be the, the right hand side. It'll look like the right hand side. So I'm just using that color going into the just a very small amount of the white. And then I want to do that on this side also. I'm starting on the inside because I want my lightest these to be light and as I go out I don't want the the ones to the outside edge to be as light because I don't want to draw attention to those as much okay and if you need to go back over some of them we'll go back over them again and make them light if need be you can get them lighter but they're not I mean they're not like stark bright white or anything at all so I'm just rinsing my brush to get some of that white light color out of there. And we're going to make that dark color again for this little part that's going across the middle. Just taking that same blue and sienna with no contamination of white. So get you a clean spot. Blue and sienna. If you have white in there when you're making this dark color, the blue and the sienna, if you have white in there, if it's contaminated with that white, it won't be as dark. So um, that's why I say no contamination, no no white, no light colors in it. So we're gonna make this, um, these little things coming down here. So come down a little ways. Uh, looks like it starts right there at the beach line where the water meets. And then just come over and then just go down. And that can go down in the sand if you want. It doesn't matter. You can stop at the end or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, like I said, they're they're plum tore up usually um, because of all the wind and water and storms and uh, the tide coming in and going out. So just make those real not real perfect. And then this one, same thing over here. I'm gonna have to reload. I'm out of paint, so I'm going back. Getting more of the brown and the sienna. I hope y'all can hear me too. I, I notice when I'm watching these things, I start out with this really loud voice. And I say, mmm, and something else. A lot. I can't remember what it is. And that gets on my own nerves, so I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> I can't remember what the other thing is. I'll say it here in a minute. Um, and then come down here. But I start out real loud, like I am now, blaring. I have a very loud voice. And then I'll start talking, and then I start, I start I go down real low. <laughs> so I hate that. So I'm going to have to make myself stop doing that. 
because y'all can't hear me. Um, go into the white, a little bit of the white with that dirty brush, just a little bit of the white, and then you're gonna have that little just touch in here and there, just the light for that. And don't make it like woo, woo, a big old line. Just don't do that. Just, just touch, touch. Don't, you know, don't make it real solid or anything. Don't do that. And if you need to go back in, you feel like you need to add some more lights to your, your other ones, you can do that. Just here and there, you can add a little bit of a pop of light. But um, less is more, you know. Don't, don't um, try to draw attention to these like I'm doing, um, because that's not. It's a part of the painting and it's interesting. But this is this is the the deal. I want people to look out there. Okay, so you've got that. Then we're going to put in a little bit of the grasses. So I'm rinsing, I'm just rinsing my brush, driving with the paper towel. Okay, so we're going to put in the, the seagrass. And the seagrass, I made, I made mine um, kind of a brownish uh, wheat color looking. Uh, so I just took this sienna. I added a little bit of yellow to it. A little bit of white. And it makes kind of like a golden wheat color look. Still using this one. You can use the half inch flat. You can use a liner or um, possibly the round. Um, for this so I'm just going to go in and make some of these these wispy grasses okay so I don't want you to like go berserk and have like a whole bunch and like I said this is believe it or not the hardest part of this painting is putting these grasses in so if you want to go in and draw them in with the chalk of uh, just a piece of chalk or the the vine charcoal you can do that so you would just go in and just Look, look here, you know, this one goes here, you know, this one goes here, this one goes here, um, you know, whatever the case may be. Or this one, you know, you can use chalk. This one goes here, this one goes here, you know, that sort of thing. You can draw them in. Um, so that, that's, that's totally up to you. But uh, if you don't do that, you can, uh, if you don't have that, you can just paint them in. But just, um, make sure that you just don't like go crazy with it because there's really not a whole lot of he these here and that's what makes this work. You don't want like scads of them and they're real wispy at the top, they're thicker at the bottom uh, and that sort of thing. So I'm just gonna go in, I'm just gonna do a couple here and just use the, I don't use that. This brush is old and wore out so it's hard to get a, a thin line. Um, but you just wanna do a the side of your brush um, using this chisel edge of a half inch flat and just go down with your uh, just get some strokes going there just and then you'll go get one to the side here you see those and then uh, just make some down they're just wispy little little guys and then uh, you have a couple that are coming out on the side, going to the side, I mean. And this is not this, this part yet. We're just putting the, just this, the grasses in right now, just the, the grasses. And I'm, I'm not pushing down real hard on my brush. The harder you push on the brush, the fatter the line will be. So I'm just barely touching, okay? So, and then if you want uh, to use, there's a liner brush. If you have a script liner, you can use one of those. You just wanna get the, the paint real wet. 
roll that brush around if you have a script liner and just get it real wet roll that around and then you'll uh, do it like that let me get it a little bit darker so you can see it and make some of them you can make them cross uh, over each other and they go up pretty tall actually um, I'm just keeping these down here low for whatever reason, but they actually go up pretty tall. They come up to um, the water, so you want to you wanna get those up there. My wall is just staying down real low. Okay, but this is the, the brown, the yellow, and a little bit of white. Okay, so you want some of them to come up tall, and then over here, same thing, you go up tall, wisp those, wisp these, cross some of them over, but you don't want to do a whole lot, less is more, it's best to just Really do a couple in the back, some tall ones just in the back, and then cross the ones in the front over. And if you're using that liner, that's how you do the liner. If you're doing the half inch flat, you get your brush loaded uh, on, the, on the side, and then you paint with just that edge of your brush, not pushing down very hard. Or you can even, if you can capture just that little tip of the brush. Uh, that it's just a personal preference whichever brush that you use or, or really sometimes at this point which brush that you have so um, just don't make them real flat fat just do a few cross some of them over make sure they go up tall enough and then once you get them in there then we're going to add a little bit more white to that brush to add some of the highlights you just want to touch in on some of those just add some some lights here and there just lighten them up a little bit here and there at the top not necessarily down in the bottom because they'll be in shadow just touch in a light here and there you don't need to like lighten the whole thing just add some light and then to add the uh, those little wispy doodads Go into that darker color that you were using before. I didn't even rinse my brush. I'm just going to that darker color, and I'm just kind of get kind of most of the paint off of my brush. You can daub it on your paper towel if you got too extra, too much extra. Okay, so I'm going to go. Can you all see that? I'm just going to be on the um, edge of the. I'm using this this part of the brush, painting with this part of the brush, taking it to the tip, and then I'm just pull over. Just some wispy little doodad things. You all see that? And with this, less is more. With all y'all's comments, I can't see uh, if y'all can see that or not. Down to the dark, come over here. You can put a few down here at the bottom if you want, but you, you don't see them as much down there. And then you just holding your brush and just flip, flip one up, flip, flip over, flip one up, flip, 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 flip. And I'm just painting with the edge, just flipping those out. Just And don't try to make them perfect. These things have been in the wind, blown in the wind, just uh, tore plumb to pieces, you know, just don't try to make them perfect, okay? And then we'll take that same brush, go into the white, adding a little bit lighter color to that for the highlights, and just touch in. Just here and there on the ones that are at the top. So 
some of the lines. And like I said, with this, less, less is more. I know y'all probably get tired of hearing me say that, but um, you don't want to put a lot, um, a lot of stuff going on. Just here, a little bit, uh, here and there. You don't need to, oops, you don't, definitely don't need to do that. You don't need to um, just keep on and on and on and on and on. And a lot of times you'll do something and you'll be like, oh, that looks really good. Oh, oh gosh, that looks really good. Let me add some more. Let me do some more. Let me do some more. And then before you know it, you're like, holy mackerel. I have like scads of stuff in here. I don't need all that. And it looks awful. I liked it before I did it. Uh, before I started all that. So, um, just keep it simple. Um, go back with that color that you're using that uh, you were highlighting with on that half inch and lighten up your middle if you need to a little bit. If you need to add, I need to add just a little bit more white to mine. Mine's not showing up. And you can actually even add just a small bit of yellow in there if you want. And dry your Dob it on your paper towel, get a little bit of that off, and just, just this middle here and there. Just swish some of those out. Just swish, swish, swish. Just keep your lights towards the middle and then you can swish up on the side if you want um, that way. So um, we'll do the birds. So rinse that brush, lay that brush down, and we'll go into the, um, for the birds, you can use this little round brush. I'm using a number four, or you can use the script liner, either way. You're just gonna go into that dark color that you made with the blue and the brown. If you still have that over there, if not, just mix uh, blue and sienna. So I'm just taking the round, a small round, and loading that brush. And you see I've got some groupings here. Um, and don't go crazy on your birds and don't have like birds, 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 birds. Um, do try to keep them in those little groupings over here i have three so to make a bird i'm just going to go uh make sure you don't have like scads of paint on your brush get, get most of that off so we're just have, using the tip of my brush can you all see and then you go over down up and over i don't have enough paint on there for you to see so you're going to go over down up over and then I'm turning this one more level down up and over so um, for a just a big so you can see that what I'm doing I'm going over down up over I don't like that big old claw there over down up over and then some of them I'll turn okay so don't, uh, oh, sounds bad. <laughs> so practice on, uh, that was a, just a little index card. Uh, so you can practice a little bit. Hey, Brandy. Um, if, if you, uh, having trouble with it. So I'm just going to go in taking that dark color and down here, I'm going to do three more. I'm just going to do little tiny. And then up here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then just go over. And if you mess up, say, oh my gosh, I don't like that verb. Take your uh, paintbrush, you can take your half inch flat and just that or just a paper towel and as long as that paint's uh, cured underneath it's gone just make sure that it's dry before you try to paint another bird on top of there because it'll smear 
and then you got three there come down just a smidge do another one That's what the round and the half and the not half. The liner is the same thing. You just roll your brush in, get your, your birds in there, and then you just same thing. Pull down. It's probably easier with the liner, but same thing. Same same process. Alright. So you've got your birds in, your water in, sand, little fence falling down there. Now we need to do a shadow. To sit, seat these in a little bit here. Just kind of ground your uh, fence. I call it grounding them. So that it looks like they're, they're on the ground. People call that different things, I think. Alright. Um, for your shadow color, um, you can use the blue and the sienna. If you have purple, you can use purple. Um, Really, the shadow color is purple and brown. Uh, if you have a little bit of purple, you can add that. If, if not, it's, it's no big deal to just use the blue and the brown. And then underneath here, I'm going to put a shadow that goes right up underneath of those. Um, the fence, just a shadow. I'm just taking the corner of my brush, and I'm just kind of popping in a little line of color right there, dark up underneath. And then that kind of comes down right here a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of drag that down a little bit. So don't try to make this line uh, just real straight or anything out here on this edge. This can be up here. It's not, that's not a problem. That can be kind of like that. But down here, just kind of soften this edge and then just make this go down. And then over here, your shadow is in the back over here kind of goes out to the side all right and you can make these have little shadows too if you want so there you go that is the beach and you can lighten that sand up um, as you see it's it's darker uh, it gets darker as it dries it just really does um, and you can just lighten that up a little bit um, as much as you you want. I'm just going back into the white with a little bit of that blue color. There. Just lighten that up a little bit. And then if you want more uh, lights up in here, you can do that a little bit too. But just remember, uh, not to go crazy with it, less is more. The more activity you have, the more busy it gets, uh, the less peaceful it will be. And that's, that's what it was. So um, that could be uh, signed. I think that's, that's it. So you take your painting pen or your paintbrush or whatever you have to sign with. I usually use a, a color that uh, I have been painting with, so it, it goes with the, oh, not that much. So it goes with the, the painting. <laughs> that was a little bit much, wasn't it? Uh, so that it goes with the painting, so it, it um, is more, you know, a cohesive part of it. You don't want it to be real standout-ish, although that is. I usually sign mine, my first initial, and then my last name, but your signature is, is whatever you choose it to be. I know some people do their whole name, some people do just their last name, some people do their initials. Uh, everyone's different, and I always date mine. I went for a period of time not dating them, and I wished I would have dated them because um, that uh, it's crazy because you don't know when you painted it so I thought it was a bad thing and uh, you know for whatever reason I guess people think oh that painting's old I don't want to buy that painting 
well, that doesn't matter. If they like the painting, they like the painting. It doesn't matter when I painted it. So, um, there you go. Uh, hey, Etta, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you guys will um, be able to take the time to paint it if you didn't paint it today. Um, the video will be saved to um, the website, or I keep saying my website. Why do I have that in my head? To my Facebook page. Um, I can't save videos to my website, so um, with the one that I use, I've tried and it won't let me do that, so that's not very nice. Um, but anyhow, uh, it'll save it to the Facebook page, my Art by Karen Wall Facebook page. It saves it in the top to um, where the videos are. So if you miss it today or you want to go back and watch it again or whatever the case may be, it's on there. It'll be on there. Um, they're saved, and I've got a whole uh, um, group of them now uh, that I've been working on uh, April and May. And... Uh, all of the ones that I've done are there. So, and they'll be there until Facebook decides to get rid of them. I know I've read somewhere that they don't stay on there forever, but I don't have plans to delete them, so they're on there for y'all to, to use. Um, but um, I'm starting a new thing after this afternoon. I have one more that'll be on here that's, uh, you know, a, it'll save to my... Uh, pay, uh, my Art by Caramel page and then uh, it's the little chicken um, and the kids will be able to paint it or even adults if they want to but this chicken I'm doing it this afternoon here at 3 o'clock um, so um, after that uh, those will be on there but then after that I'm starting a new monthly um, group where you join the group you pay to join the group and it's uh, $25 for two videos a month and $45 for three videos plus extras. There's lots of extra little bonus stuff along the way. Um, and you join, um, join the group, you, buy, you, pay, you pay, you let me know you want to join. I'll send you the information. You pay, I add you to the group um, and you'll be able to paint the videos that I put out there. I'll put them out at the first of the month and you'll be able to paint on those at any time you want to throughout the month. Um, and then, um, once the month's over, uh, you'll get new videos the following month and the previous month's videos will, will go away. Um, but I will post a picture, um, just like I did for the painting parties. I'll post the picture and what I'm going to post for the next month so you'll know what's available and then you um, if you want to join the next month um, then you know if you see oh I really like those paintings I want to be on it next month too send your money in and you'll stay in the you'll stay on the page um, in the group but if you decide oh I don't I really don't want to paint those I don't like those then I can I will remove you from the group but um, it's, I wanted it to be an ongoing thing, so it'd be kind of like a membership, and you're on, and you stay, and you stay, so I didn't have to, you know, be bought people off and on and off and on, um, but um, I've had a lot of people say, well, you know, what if I don't want to paint that one? Uh, what if I don't like that one? You know, what if I can't, don't have access to it? I'm going to be gone, and, you know, whatever, um, so I thought, okay, the fair thing for you all would be is to be able to use it um, for the month. And if you choose to, and then if the next month you don't like them or you're not going to be able to watch them, then you don't have to pay because um, they're there for a month. So, but just trying to come up with something that works in the meantime until I can open up my art studio. Um, because for right now, I can't open up my art studio and have enough people in here to have a painting party. So, um, until you know, this stuff goes away or they come up with a vaccine or they decide Karen can open up her art studio and have all these people in here with masks on and painting and, you know, having big fun. Um, this is, this is what I've got. This is what I have. This is what I thought would work for you all and work for me. Um, so I'm hoping that it'll work. If, like I said, uh, if you're interested, you just have to contact me and then I'll send you the information and then, um, let you know how you can pay and join and um, it's similar to the way the painting parties work um, and I will be working on a new painting uh, actually several new paintings um, 
and I'll post those. Um, I'll, I'll, my plans are to post them by the 20th, um, if not sooner, by the 20th of every month, I will post the paintings um, for the following month. So that'll give you the opportunity to decide whether you wanna opt in or out for the next month. So if you have suggestions, if you have any idea um, of you know things that you wanna paint or whatever, I threw some posts out there this morning trying to get some input um, from folks, you know, what you, what you want to paint. Um, so just let me know that, but just trying to make this work. This is, this is a whole new normal, uh, for everybody. And, um, I'd like to say things are going to go back to the way that they were before, but, but I don't know that for a hundred percent. So, um, I hope that I can have smaller, if nothing else, I hope that I can have smaller groups in here so that, you know, I could do like a painting class like we did before, the art classes, which I love, where people come in and they paint what they want, and then, you know, I help you along and assist you, and then, you know, you um, work on it for, you know, two or three classes and finish a painting. Those were fun. Um, maybe some small group um, painting parties. Um, but I'm hoping that, if nothing else, the online is an opportunity for you all to um, see uh, see what I've got to offer, choose, you know, decide whether you want to paint it, pick the group that you want to be in, uh, whichever one, you know, is affordable for you or one that is, is more appealing to you. Um, and because uh, even with, you know, like I said, with the... The twenty-five you get twenty-five dollar one. You get two paintings a month. You get a, a painting for um, ten ten and up, ages ten and up, and then you get a uh, for ages five and up. You get those in both of the groups. And then in the other group, the forty-five dollar group, you'll get another video plus some extra you know information and other videos uh, along the way. Um, but you also have an opportunity to paint like. Um, three and four part videos. Say I've got one that you can't finish in one session, um, then we can break it down into three different videos. So you can do part one, part two, part three, uh, or maybe part one and part two. Um, so that's that's exciting. I, I, somebody suggested that and I was actually thinking that myself. So I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good for you guys, good for me. It's a win-win. And then once I can open, if they say, you know, you're good to go. You can open up full wide open, you know, painting parties, just like I did before galore. <sighs> Yay. Praise the Lord. Thank goodness. I'm so excited. But then I'll still probably offer some sort of online classes for folks that can't come here. Um, there are people that can't get out, people that don't want to come this far, people that, you know, um, just want to paint at home, just like, to, you know, nervous, don't want to be around other people, don't want other people to see, you know, how you all get all nervous sitting beside of each other and you get all uh, bent out of shape over that. Uh, who doesn't? Um, it does make you a little bit nervous, but it's still fun. It's fun. The The part about the painting parties that are so fun is um, you're here and you're with each other and you meet new people and you make new friends and we all have big fun and um, that's a fun part of that. That that's what I miss. I don't know if y'all miss it or not, but I sure do. Um, but the others uh, is good too. If it's a good fit for some people, but for right now, this is all I've got. This is what I've got. So I'm hoping that it'll work. I hope you guys will join me. Um, I I mean, you guys are great. I love you all. You guys are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people. My painters, I miss you. Um, I appreciate all the donations and all the help it along the way, but um, the, I've got to do something. This To keep this place, I have got to do something, and this is what I've decided to do. So I hope you'll support me. Um, thank you all for everything. Um, join me, uh, join me uh, again this afternoon, three o'clock. We'll do the chicken. It'll be fun. The kids will love it. Uh, and that's this is what I've got. This is hopefully it'll work. So thank you guys and God bless you. Have a good day. Love you. See you later and bye.